My name is Ted Johnson. I live in Dunbarton, New Hampshire, and the following video represents all those energy saving inventions or projects that I've completed around the house that I'd like to show you today. I'm just really obsessed with energy conservation. Years ago, we started with solar panels for hot water, and it's still functioning after 20 years. We've got three panels on the roof, acts as a collector. We have a, it's an antifreeze solution that goes through the panels. That solution goes into a large hot water tank that has a coil, and it preheats our domestic water supply that then goes to our regular gas hot water heater. But it serves as a preheater. I put up a 185 watt panel, photovoltaic panel that provides energy to two large deep cell batteries and then I have an inverter so now I can plug in the whole hot water system that we have with the circulation pump and it runs off the grid and it's a self-contained system. I always wanted to beat public service and reduce our electric bill and be as self-sufficient as possible. We put in all kinds of fans in the house uh, little circulating fans along with our wood stove and that did a nice job just circulating the heat throughout the house We have a very efficient wood stove and it has a slow burn and uh, we can get 12 hours out of that stove And then instead of having a conventional heating system We went with these small monitor kerosene heaters as space heaters and we have two in the house and between those two kerosene heaters and the wood stove that provides more than enough heat for the house It's the internet I'm always on the internet looking for, for energy savings. And I saw a parabolic dish with a focus beam and I, I knew they'd been around for camping for years. You could, you know, heat up a you know, little pot of water, or make coffee, or whatever. I, my thought was to use that four by eight parabolic trough to heat a center tube. And once again, just like the solar hot water system that we had, use that hot tube to circulate water and feed it into a collector and maybe use it for radiant heat somewhere in the house. I built my own windmill having a the blades mounted on one of these treadmill motors and um, then I had to do a gear ratio to make it spin faster and it produces like 14 volts and it's enough to charge a deep cell battery and um, I have that system connected in the barn I just have one battery because basically I'm using lights out in the barn it's just a challenge but I think anyone can do this stuff and if you want to you know invest in a bank of batteries you can go you know locally and they're 70 or 80 dollars so it's not going to break the bank but <clears throat> I think so many people think they have to deal with the government, get rebates, and it's going to cost me $5,000. Most of my projects cost less than $100, and, and they give me substantial savings on my electric bill, um, or just to produce heat. And you could do a lot of these projects for next to nothing. Even if you're not mechanically inclined, you could do these. So I hope they get on the bandwagon.